I want to blow dry. Oh, Rihanna got some new Pumas coming out. Hold on, wait. I got to get my Finny Pumas back. Like, I, I, I had two pair of Finny Pumas, bro, and I had to. Get, I gave them away because I went to Carbonation. What the fuck? But I gotta get my Finny Pumas back, and I want to get the. I didn't Velvet say you suede, pregnant. Dr. Martins, like, oh, and you talking God, about Velvet your suede, suede Pumas? You don't have a license. But I gotta get me some. Some more Finny Pumas. What? I want to get the Finny um skincare line. I fucking love the Finny skincare line. I don't it's okay. I, I was just making sure. Okay. TKO. That's where it's split between. It's just everybody go through VIP talking about. Y'all don't see what is going on over here. Alright, it's okay. Y'all let this voodoo nigga just make all type of spells. Nigga this nigga make this nigga made a spell and this nigga fly come out. And so nigga in New Orleans, she dipped off for four days and she was having sex with some dude. And he left her at the crib and because she left her at the crib, she felt as though he wasn't going to be a real man. So she felt like she was just having sex for, well, she had sex for four days and he kept on nutting her. And she thought that he was gonna be able to take care of her. He was a client that used to do her do hair. You know, she does client. She was one of her hair clients. So the person that got her pregnant is one of the some to say dread is a person with locks and natural hair. Who? Who been in my life since earlier? These are two different pages. And my children. Making sure that we're straight with a relationship with God rather than sitting there trying to run after your bum ass when you can't even, you don't even have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Why you sitting up in here talking about you got all the money? Baby, you, money, you ain't gonna be able to take that money with you when you die, honey. You need to be truly secure in your soul. Like on some real shit. Like on some real, real shit. You wanna talk about how you preaching, you preaching, you preaching knowledge to, to humanity. You ain't preaching knowledge to humanity. You're you're trying to manipulate young individuals so that you can have some type of control, you nasty narcissist, pedophilic ass nigga. That's what the fuck is going on. That's the truth. That's the truth. Period. So while y'all sitting up here making fun of me and saying all of this extra shit about me, you need to be looking at yourself in the mirror and, and understanding how much of a fucked up person you are and start taking responsibility for the shit that you're doing. Because karma is a bitch. And everybody else who's sitting online making fun of me, laughing at me, saying I'm a hoe and doing all this extra shit, baby. Baby, remember, you had a life. Your life wasn't blasted online. You probably got shit skeletons in your closet that you will never be able to come out about because you so ashamed. I'm not ashamed of nothing. I'm not ashamed of nothing I did. I'm not ashamed of nothing that's going on with me. I'm not ashamed of my past. I'm not ashamed of what came from my past. I'm not ashamed of the consequences that I have to endure because of my actions, because I understand everything that's going on in my life and as long as I understand what's going on in my life nobody can come in my life and tell me how to live it nobody can come in my life and tell me and or laugh at me in my own life because at the end of the day they got stuff out there that's happening with me that happens with everybody in the world and no one talks about it you really don't face your your problems you really don't heal your generational curses you sit there and you laugh at somebody else how is that how is that anything righteous? How is that anything of God? You sit there and you say that you are a good person and you're a righteous person, but there's a person literally in your life that you see online who's going through the same shit that you might have went through, but yet you're laughing at her, yet you're making fun of her. What type of individual are you? Stop it. You need to be treating people how you want to be treated because if you had ever got the treatment, your own dose of medicine or how you treat other people, you wouldn't be able to take it. You wouldn't be able to handle it. 
You know what I'm saying? And guess what? At the end of the day, I know that these dark entities, that these negative energies are trying to possess me. They're trying to turn me into darkness. And you, you, you're you not going to be able to turn me into darkness. You want to know why? Because I'm a child of God. I'm pure light. The fact that I was born a light, I, I was susceptible to negative energy or fallen angels trying to come into my life and possess me. But it's, it can't happen. I'm, tr I'm truly pure. I'm truly a child of God. And the last thing you want to do is fuck with a child of God. Period. Period. Like, this shit is actually happening on social media for everybody to see. I hope that everybody is paying attention. I appreciate the gifts. I appreciate the gifts. I hope that everybody is truly paying attention to what's going on because it's not something that's all the way physical. Yeah, there are a lot of physical things that's happening to me, that's happening around me, you know, <clears throat> that makes us, you know, that creates a situation, you know what I'm saying? But deeper than that, look at the energy that's that's taking place. You know what I'm saying? Look at the energy in, in each individual and tell me if it's righteous or not. Tell me if it's right or not. You know what I'm saying? Like truly have a discernment and assessment for the for the for the for the energy that the people are holding. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really not a joke. People sit there and they laugh, but it's shit that they're going through in their life. You know what I'm saying? You you kiki and ha ha off of the strength of COVID, like baby. The, in the next month, you're going to be like, what is this girl doing and why is she doing it? You understand me? Like, it's not even the same type of world we live in no more where you could just readily available available depend on the, the, the government to do everything for you. We're not in those days no more. You know what I'm saying? Everybody... Everybody is saying we need to live a more natural lifestyle. We need to do this. We need to do that. But... Everybody's using the knowledge to their own advantage and pursuing their own agendas in the process, hurting themselves and hurting other people in the process. This is not, this is not, this is not how you live a righteous lifestyle. You don't teach humanity how you need to be, do better and be better and then double back and then hurt humanity, manipulate humanity and doing all this extra shit. Like, that shit is crazy. You can't say that you're a righteous person and then double back and see somebody else's life and then judge them for the shit that you probably went through or you know somebody that went through it. That's not righteous. That's not how you live your life. But you're sitting up there saying that you're righteous. And I hope all of you people in the room, you know what I'm saying, expose yourselves. I hope you expose yourselves and say something stupid so that we can block you and get rid of that energy because that's what's happening right now. Everything that's happening to me is pushing negative energy out of my life. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it's pushing negativity out of my life and I'm the happiest I've ever been right now. I have life. I have life. Do you not know what that means? I have life. And I'm going to continue to have life because I'm going to always choose life. And I'm going to always choose life for my children, for myself, for my family, for humanity, for my friends. You know? So nobody could... You, the joy that I have right now, nobody could take away. You know? I don't stress for nothing. I don't need for nothing. I don't want for nothing. I have everything I want and everything I need. Everything I want is everything I need. You know what I'm saying? You could say whatever you want. You can have all of the, you know, things that you want to say, but it is what it is. We'll see in the end. 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 Period. Period. I'd rather be, I'd rather be big and fucking pregnant without a daddy rather than being big and fucking pregnant and being beaten, being beaten and tortured and called fucking ungrateful because I feel like you know I, I need Don't him more in my life and he's trying to push me off on other women to take care of me you know, I'd rather be a single mom than be in a relationship with a nigga that don't give a fuck about me. You know what I'm saying? Don't give a fuck about my children for real, for real. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather be by myself. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, no, that ain't nothing good to go through. And you know what Nature Boy would say? You need to ride for your man, no matter what it is he do. And you know how in denial and how naive I was as a young woman. I'm like, yeah, I'm a ride for my nigga. I'm a ride for him. I'm a do this. I'm a do that. Not knowing that I had a choice. I had a choice to subject myself to 
to to pain and suffering or subject myself to receiving my blessings by getting that shit the fuck up out my life. And I chose to get it up out my life, period. If you mad because I chose to get it up out my life and I chose better for myself, whatever went on in my life, I don't give a fuck what's going on. I'm still choosing to better my life. I'm still choosing to put one foot in front of the other to accomplish my goals. Remember, them bitches is already met. My goals is already met, so, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. Are you living yours? Are you healing? Are you healing the things in your psyche that needs to be healed so that you can meet your goals and aspirations? Are you doing what's best? Are you truly living a righteous lifestyle? You can't say so because you're on my live or on my pictures commentating about how stupid you think I am rather than sitting there and, and taking responsibility for the own shit that you did in your life and bettering yourself, being inspired by my fuck-ups, being inspired by... The stuff that I went through in my life to get your shit together. But all you can do is make fun of because you're miserable. That's what miserable people do. And you're trying to make me miserable. I can't be miserable. I don't have a miserable bone in my body. You know what I'm saying? I'm a happy person. You know what I do when I get depressed? I make myself happy. I know how to make myself happy when I'm depressed. I know what to do with myself to make myself a better person. You understand me? So... Why y'all sitting up there making fun of me, saying all this extra shit? <laughs> y'all got your own lives to go back to. You have to look in the mirror yourself. You have to come to terms with the shit that you did to other people in your life. That don't have nothing to do with me. So I'm going to sit over here and mind my business like I've been doing. Like I've been doing. And I'm going to come up on you niggas, period. Because y'all got me fucked all the way up. On all people ever in my life came into my life to do was hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. And they only hurt, they only hurt me to try to turn me into the person that they wanted me to be. And it ain't, I could never become that person. I could never become that person because I am a God, I am a God child. I am God's child. An anointance is over me. A protection is over me. And I speak, I know that. And, and God does not want me to be silent about that. And I'm not going to be silent about that. God is putting certain things in my life and putting me in certain positions so that y'all can see that I'm anointed. So that y'all can see his presence or its presence in my life so that you know that there is a God. That there it is real. And what you do, you're going to have to take responsibility for Everything everybody doing to me on social media at the when everything hit the fan because everything is a has a cycle. Once this cycle comes to an end, we're gonna see who's gonna end up on top. We're gonna see who's actually gonna end up on top. We're gonna see who's the child of God for real, for real. We're gonna see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Period. Period. If I wouldn't have ever if I wouldn't have ever repented from my ways, I wouldn't be on social media talking about this. I spent three years of my life basically um, in a state of, of, of blasphemy, denouncing God, knowing that I had a connection. Why would I get off social media, completely be silenced and not say like, you know what I'm saying? Not take responsibility for what it is that I did. I led so many people astray off of the strength of carbonation because I thought it was okay. Because I thought it was something that was supposed to be done, be being done. But now that I know it's wrong, it's not right, period. And I'm gonna stand up for that. And nobody's gonna silence me from standing up for that because that's not who I am. I am a person, I am an advocate for righteousness. I am an advocate for balance. I am a life path nine. I balance things out. I bring peace. I bring harmony. I don't bring hurt. I don't bring pain. I bring progression. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, nobody could get me to shut up for my purpose, period. I have a purpose and you can't take me out of my purpose. You would like to try. You would like to try, but you can't, but you can't. And we almost, we almost to a box, y'all. I appreciate yeah. the gifts. I do appreciate the gifts. We almost to a box. Yeah. The more y'all send gifts in the room, it does add to my, it, it adds to me being able to do everything I needed to do for Ellie, right? But on, but on another note, on this app, when y'all gift, it raises me to a higher tier on the app, which makes me popular on the app. 
It also, we're, we was at 11. That y'all been sending gifts and everybody's been positive in the room. It's pushed me up to number seven in the heat, in the heat room. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that. You guys always support. There's people out there who I didn't know supporting me, who no matter what goes on in my life, they're still going to support me. That's true love. That's true love. That's true understanding. While Nature Boy tried to sit there and tell me that my friends and family and the people who supporting me right now, who's helping me reach my goals and aspirations are my lower self, that they didn't love me. That's a lie. He's a liar. He's a liar in the flesh. He is the one who does not love me. He is the one that does not want to see me do well. If I, if, if you, if you were a man, right? And any man that's listening right now, if you had a woman with a child, wouldn't you want the, the woman, if, even if she didn't want to be with you, wouldn't, wouldn't you want that woman to be on her feet? You wouldn't try to do anything to make that woman feel anything less than what she is. You wouldn't try to take money out of her pocket. You wouldn't try to make it hard for her because she didn't want to be with you. You would support her, period. And you know what Visa, on that note, Visa said to me behind closed doors, he said, I don't care if it is with me. I don't care. I don't care if you, uh, I appreciate the gifts, y'all. Visa was like, um... I, I don't I don't care if you don't be with me. I don't care if you don't be with me. It don't even have to be with me. I just want you to be happy with the woo. But then he doubled back and sit on social media and drag for me with Nature Boy. How is that righteous? How is, you sit online praying the same raggedy ass prayer? You might need to start praying for something different because that prayer ain't working, honey. It ain't working. It ain't working. Why you sitting up there trying to make a a fool out of me when you're making a fool out of yourself huh what you said no dad this is coming out i have to let it out okay shit if it if it's coming out i gotta let it out if it's coming out i have to let it out Dago, niggas and flies i do despise Mm -mm. Period. Okay. For real though, people got me fucked up. Sorry. I'm sorry. People think that they could just be like, Bell, be quiet. No. 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 Shit, my dad must be an angel right now because I'm still about to go in on you niggas. But I don't really have to say much. I really don't have to say much. I'm not going to say much. I don't have to say anything. They're 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 gonna they're exposing themselves. I, it has nothing to do with me. I appreciate you guys though. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the gifts. I appreciate Stop. that. That was beautiful. Wait, what was it, Daddy? Niggas and flies. I do despise. The more the more I go the more I go around niggas, the more I like flies. I don't know some shit like that. But I don't like flies, so I don't like fleas or flies. I don't like none of that oh, shit. Man. Niggas and flies, I do despise. The more I'm around niggas, the more I like flies. That. That part. It, 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 that's, it, right that's not racist. That's not racist. That's a that's a real ass. Let me tell you, they got some real niggas out. They got niggas out here, okay? Being niggas. They got white niggas and they got black niggas. It ain't racist. They got white niggas out here and they got black niggas out here. And the niggas ain't shit, okay? Period. Period. Oh, no. Don't forget the, don't forget the Asians. Yeah, they don't got Asian the niggas. Asian. They got Mexican and niggas. All, and all of them each other nigga now. Yeah. They, we them. all niggas. They got righteous niggas and they got fucked up niggas. We talking about the fucked up ones, okay? So it is what it is. <laughs> DJ Wisdom <laughs> Nelly Bell What's up Nelly <laughs> Katina Look at Tina <laughs> For real They come in all colors and forms Don't get it twisted Don't get it twisted This is a global thing This is not You know what I'm saying This is not Pinpointed at one race This is You know people like to say Everything about the black community. What about humanity? 
that's the part. That's the part for me. Humanity. It's humanity for me. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely global.